Well, at the time, I was working as a prison officer uh, in a young offenders institution in Wolverhampton. I grew up in the church. Um, I grew up the daughter of a pastor. I grew up being expected to be a good girl. How many sermons I heard? <laughs> countless, countless sermons. I'm actually really excited about it. Um, well, I'm recently a Seventh-day Adventist. Um, I just got baptised around three months ago. It was around some last year and we were at camp meeting. It was a lovely atmosphere and I heard a sermon and that just enthused me. I was so there was a fire inside me and I didn't know how to contain it. I just got up and I just wanted to go for it. I wanted to evangelise the world. I just wanted to change everyone's hearts. I just wanted to make everyone believe in what I believed in. Yeah, God called me. God called me to do evangelism, to reach out to, reach out to the people. But I don't feel like I'm ready. Um, I don't even know how to approach people. And what happened when you got back home? You went back and you did it, right? No. Uh, I went back home and I just cooled down. I mean, <laughs> I'm a geek. <laughs> you know, I, I don't really, I'm not good with this whole talking to people thing. How can God call me to do something like that? So I was in the bus the other day and I saw this guy and he, he was sitting down, he was listening to music and he looked upset for me. I thought he looked upset because I am so excited and happy about everything that's been going on and I felt and I sat next to him because there was no one sitting next to him and I was like hello and he was like hi he was found it really strange and I started to speak to him about God and I was like God loves you and um and what the life you've been living right now maybe is not the life for you you should be happy like me and I don't think he really liked it I don't because I didn't know how to approach to him I really I really wanted to and that's why I did but that wasn't enough I need a place or, or someone who can show me, who can guide me. Um, I decided that I needed to, to, to train and to um, gain resources after I went to university. And I realised that I wasn't being productive. I went to university for three years and I was able to share on a certain level with my friends. I was able to tell them about certain aspects of my faith and I was able to live a certain lifestyle, but that's only so far that that can go. And I wanted to be resourced to be able to share my faith in a way that would lead to Bible studies, that would lead to decisions, that would lead to actual progress rather than just what we are usually satisfied with as Adventists. I didn't want to just kind of leave a, oh I lived a good life mark, I wanted to leave a mark where I could have shared the truth with them and enabled them to make a decision based on that truth that I'd shared. But I still have this burning desire in my heart to go to be better resourced. I didn't feel able enough to do uh, the evangelism that I was doing at that particular time. So we just talked about it as a family and um, we decided to go. And then the one day we went, to, I thought I'd better go and tell my mother, who's not a practicing Christian, that uh, I was finishing my job and we were going to go to America to do an evangelistic course. And just after I told the mother uh, that we were going, she left the room and she came back in about two minutes later and uh, gave me a cheque for £10,000. I said, I hope this will help towards it. And to me, that was a sign from God that He was calling me to do it. I heard there are places where you go to be trained for that kind of stuff. But they're all too far and I don't want to go abroad. I heard that there's this place they're putting together right here in the UK. And if that's really true, I'm definitely in. That's it, this is it for me. If there was a way of being trained, I felt that if I want to do God's work, am I educated in the right ways? Do I know enough? And I thought if there was this one program that, or maybe if there was a, a training session that I'll be able to learn what I need to learn, then surely I'll be on the route to doing what God wants me to do. As you sit in the church pew from week to week and you contemplate your spiritual life, do you ever wonder what could be? Could you be doing something more for God? Maybe taking three to four years is, is not realistic for you to study something. Are you taking a gap year and rather than travel the world, you're thinking that you want to dedicate it to enriching your spiritual life and doing something for God? Peace is the center of evangelistic training in the North England Conference that offers a variety of programs that enable, equip, and empower you to effectively share your faith. If you're someone who wants to be able to witness to your friends, your neighbors, your family members, if you're someone who wants to have a clearer understanding about what you believe and how to teach others, if you're someone who wants to be part of fulfilling the Great Commission and take the gospel to all the world, if you're someone who wants to just be equipped and ready whenever it is, then peace is the place for you.
For more information, go online to peacecentre.eu or peacecentre.co.uk. See you there. I want somebody to teach me how to do evangelism. I'm really no good at it at the moment, but I know I have potential. I want to tell the world about it. I want someone to teach me, just anybody who has more knowledge than I do.